So this is this is Sparky. He has been bitten by an eastern brown snake in the last half hour or so, which is still at large in the owner's house. He's obviously in distress, um, probably starting to feel the effects of the paralysis. So we're just going to get moving if we can. <coughs> we're just going to run a blood test straight away which will just look at how his blood's clotting. Sometimes the toxin can cause um, the blood not to clot properly and it's just a bit of a screening test will give us an early indication of whether there's whether he's been envenomated. Get more blood. Can you hold his head up? Yes. We're running an activated clotting time at the moment and I'm hoping the number's going to be normal, about 120 seconds. But based on what I've seen so far with the signs of paralysis, I'm expecting this number to be quite high. So the activated clotting time on Sparky is off the scale. It's greater than a thousand seconds. So we know for sure that he's been envenomated based on that and the fact that he's becoming quite paralyzed. So time is of the essence now. We need to get this snake antivenom on board and hopefully prevent him becoming too much worse. probably reach him in about okay please 20 seconds So he just prefers to hide away. You wouldn't think that a cat like this that's so scared would bring a brown snake into the house, but he did. But he is actually looking better. So he's moving around more and fingers crossed, if he continues at this at this rate, he might even be home within a day. Are you trying to hide away? You can hide away. Yeah. 